what up everybody welcome back to the channel you know what it is it's your boy 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 Tasma Holloway I don't know if my lighting is off a little bit but I might need to turn my lights on a little bit let me see if I can get my lights in a little bit there we go lights not so bright so yeah I just wanted to um touch base on a, on a, on a video today um a video that I didn't even have the 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 in the in the, in the past I didn't have the the uh the hopes of having to be able to make a video like this uh, unfortunately i'm gonna make it i'm gonna address it this one time and then i don't even want to come back to the video i don't want to talk about none of this kind of stuff because i feel like we're on a positive path if you're new to the channel i'm gonna need you to go down below right now subscribe to the channel you know what it is it's your boy Tasman holloway it's your boy it's your boy it's your boy you know what it is so today's topic is where has she been so before we get into this conversation have you subscribed yet drink of orange juice just so you guys know gotta keep your health up gotta keep your wealth up gotta keep your vibes up and eating a fruit roller because i love fruit rollers love fruit rollers yes so today's video is i'm going to touch base on this subject matter sucks and, and sucks to have to even have to touch this base on this because obviously i went into this with um good intentions not even ten, naive intentions i can even say for myself in that matter that i went in this with good intentions never went in this with any intentions to hurt anybody try to um disillude anybody or anything like that but i will not have anyone speaking on my name in any kind of manner of disrespect lying saying that i didn't think i wasn't gonna address it i talked to people on my side of the, of the of the world and basically just go publicly address it leave it alone after that so i'm gonna come bring out today facts about what i'm addressing so today everyone's been asking me what's going on with queen she's not on the channel no more we haven't seen the hellcats we haven't seen the other cars we haven't seen everything that's going on with the Vegas situation well unfortunately it's i don't know i don't, I don't know what was going to happen with the situation but as of now i'm going to say publicly the situation is done all the stuff that was there has been removed from my life um yes i gave her the hellcat she has the scat pack she um has a condo in Vegas and I left all my shoes and clothes on my J's um, left all my shoes all my shoes I've worked on for years and 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 I left it all in Vegas because um, we were going through a lot of stuff with my businesses and stuff just personal stuff and then the quarantine happened and so um, I removed myself from Vegas and come back up to Washington take care of a lot a lot of business dealing with um, civil suits with business partners and things like that so um Along the time, we have been having a lot of ups and downs. A lot of stuff goes off behind the camera that you guys don't know about. Um, I'd rather not get into too much in the detail. Um, but things were happening in our relationship that I, I was trying to disillude and make, you know, make it happen. Because I believed in I believed in her. I believed in the YouTube. I believed in everything we were doing. I think it was like a picture perfect thing that I had going for her because I trusted her. You know what I'm saying? I trusted her that she had good intentions. I trusted her that normally you shouldn't trust anybody. You should you, you shouldn't trust anyone doing anything, but sometimes. You try to you just try to have a homie and build with somebody and just vibe with somebody and have a good vibe with them and I thought that's what I was doing so I brought her along for the journey. No one no one um, told me to pick up a camera and, and, and YouTube her and any of that. I didn't I didn't go on this trying to create like a family channel. I didn't do it. I literally my son had been telling me to YouTube. People have been telling me I should YouTube my life and I just started doing it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it started catching traction and, and that's just what it was. You know what I'm saying? But she happened to be the person in my life at that particular time in my life where I was YouTubing and my employees and my businesses and things like that. And so, um, it was, it was, in the beginning, it was fun. You know, we, we obviously we had our ups and downs, our lefts and rights and our bruises and bumps. What relationship doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Everybody goes through ups and downs in their relationship. Everyone does. But, um, with that being said, um, I'm here to get to the facts of why I'm not with that situation. I'm going to address the situation. I'm going to move forward. First and foremost, I haven't stolen from nobody. I've never been a thief in my life. You can check my criminal background history. I don't have any possessions of stealing or he got caught with someone's possessions or he did this this and that i'm a businessman as much as you anybody who knows me knows that i've been owning businesses i've been having businesses and i've been getting businesses before i even met her i met queen last year already owning my businesses that i still own to this day and owning all my stuff that i have i no one has given me a business or given me anything um i had one of my customers named Braden. And that was um, a good customer of mine. He had mentioned to me about selling me a car a while ago. We were getting ready to move down to Vegas. I said, hey, I knew she was upside down in a, uh, my older vehicle. I took it down on my boy Brady. They appraised the car. They gave us an approval that was for her. And I took 
savings, my cash that I had saved up, and I put it towards her new car because I looked out for her. I believed that it was good for the channel. I believed that it was a solid move. We were getting ready to move to Vegas. I wanted to look out for her. She was upside down in the car. She had bought from a previous person that she was dealing with and she went and got lopsided up in a car in an RT Hemi that she didn't even like. So, um, you know, I was trying to do the best for her. That way it was never, I never had intentions for, I, it was for us. I wanted us to look good. It was my shorty, so yes, I'm gonna look out for my shorty. I'm gonna hold it down, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. She was holding down as well. We both put up for that, you know what I'm saying? So it was our car we had together as a team. So boom, get the Hellcat. I have my cars. Um, but I had crashed the Porsche. Um, the Porsche was obviously going through a situation um, with the shop and all this other stuff. So then I still had my other car. I gave it to my boy, one of my employees. I ended up giving him one of my cars. You know, uh, I gave him my SRT uh, Black Scat Pack. And um, I was looking out for him, trying to do the right thing for my boy. So that's another subject. But back to the fact of the matter. So we ended up moving on to Vegas. Um, she had never even been to Vegas. She had never been down there in her, in her life. She'd never been down to Vegas before. I took her to Vegas, um, showed her Vegas, showed her a good time, took her to Dre's, popped in with her, had her riding around in Lamborghinis that you never did before. So don't sit up and act like you was living this high and mighty life before you met me. No, I was cool with the boys that are royalty exotics and hooked up with my guy Abe and knew about all the whole situation with the whole royalty and put us in Lamborghinis. You know what I'm saying? I put the play together. A lot of these plays, I put together. You're not gonna come around and say you put me on these plays. I've been making moves. I've been having passports. I took you to Cabo. You didn't take me to Cabo. I took you to Cabo. So, um, I don't like, I just feel like I don't wanna give a situation too much energy. It really, really, really just rubs me the wrong way people say I stole. So, you know, we as a team invested into our relationship and I walked away from the relationship. I walked away from the Hellcats, the Scat Packs, the condo in Vegas, I walked away from all of it because I didn't want to put up with all the shit I had to deal with with her. You know, there was a lot of shit that I dealt with that was very immature. I don't want to bring up on camera, but it was just what well, I didn't want to leave. She didn't tell me to leave. She didn't break up with me. I broke up with her. I left and came back to Seattle because I didn't want to deal with her. You know, and um, I think it was just the right thing to do, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to, I had to, I had to make a move as far as my businesses. I'm going through a big, large civil suit right now with um, a partner that I was invested in with a particular move in this building that I'm in right now, and um. I, I believe in my heart, I, I believe in my heart the, where I went wrong was, and anybody who moving in the future learns, do not involve people in your business stuff. If you, I don't think Jay-Z takes Beyonce to meetings he has with Rock, Rock Nation, you know what I'm saying? I think he takes care of that and they come home and they do a family. See, my problem was I was involved with someone I was dealing with into my personal business stuff and, um... I just, I thought the person had good intentions. I, I didn't think, you know, that it was ever going to be no funny stuff. You know, I trusted her. I thought she was a solid person. I she was a, a cool, a cool homie. And obviously it was, that wasn't the case. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, I just got tired of all the bullshit that we had to put up with in a relationship, all the arguing, all the insecurities, all the issues, all the problems. I was dealing with stuff from ex-girlfriends who were trying to um, assassinate my character as well and do all that corny stuff. And I'm not here to cry, complain. I'm just putting this out here because I don't I don't really give two shits about the situation, I don't. But you're not gonna go on social media and try to blast me and say I stole because I'm not a thief. Check my background, check my history. And I don't say anything about stealing. I never stole a day in my life. I ain't stole a candy bar from a fucking corner store for that matter. So I never stole. We had contracts. So here's a collaboration agreement. If the camera can get touch in on that, please touch in on that. Off the camera can, there it goes. Collaboration agreement. So we had a collaboration agreement. If the camera can zoom back in on this, you see my name, Tasman Holloway, and you will see, uh, let me see, make sure I got the paperwork right. Oh yeah, there it goes. So my name is in the corner. Jasmine Holloway and you see Alexis Walters. So this was our collaboration contract that was notarized. Let me see if we can get that to zoom in on that. In the state of Nevada. Notarized contract that she signed and I signed. Contracts that were signed on February 7th, 2020. That we both knew that going into YouTube, doing stuff, moving to Vegas was gonna come with a lot of business stuff so me being the businessman that i am i knew in my heart like this could ever if it ever was to go left i don't want to look like the bad guy look like i'm in some shit and i've i've invested so much time money and just energy into this relationship that i don't want to walk away from it empty-handed so with that being said we both signed on contracts 
I never had any intentions to ever screw anybody over. We were going through a whole bunch of BS in our relationship. It was ups and downs, left to right, and I cannot be putting that kind of energy into my life when I have a newborn daughter that I'm, de I'm dealing with, with uh, court with that with, you know what I'm saying? Because I have to take care of that to get a parenting plan established. And, 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 and that's going very well, thank you God. And I have Monet and Jacoby that are all the way in Georgia. I have to take care of that as well. And I have a whole staff and I had multiple businesses that I'm running in Seattle. So from Vegas, I'm taking care of all this stuff and trying to keep my YouTube going, keep my personal life going, keep my kids happy, keep my, my mother happy and my employees happy and then keep her happy. I did right by her daughter. I never stole from her daughter, never took from her daughter, never did anything from her daughter. We had established a business plan together to do business. But unfortunately, emotions and so much insecurity got involved that I knew it was gonna affect my businesses and my YouTube and everything I had going on if I didn't remove myself from that situation. And when you start removing yourself from people that you once are in good dealings with, you will see that they start taking all this, he's a thief. He's a he's a bum. He's he's homeless. All these all these new things start coming out. All these things that people go, huh? But but I thought you loved him. I thought he was such a good guy to you. And she got my name tatted on her. So I don't understand if I'm a thief. Why would why are you why would you have a thief around your daughter? Why would you have a thief around your family? And why would you get a thief if I was stealing? I mean, so I mean, anyone knows me knows I've just been known for robbing banks and robbing grocery stores and manipulating people out of money. Never who I was. Now, yes, I have put a lot of money into what we did, um, and so has she. And um, we both put a lot of money in, but I removed myself from the situation. I know where I'm headed with my YouTube. I know where I'm headed with my businesses. I know where I'm headed with my music. I know where I'm headed with my investments. I know where I'm headed. I came into meeting with her with a whole bunch of shit. I am never not just dependent on somebody to hand me a bunch of shit. Like, Here you go, Taz, take this and just use me for everything I have. Never in my life have I ever done that. I've worked my ass off. Anyone who knows me knows that I've overly grinded. I've done what I had to do in my life. Um, and it's not all peaches and cream, you know what I'm saying? I did what I had to do to get where I'm at, and that shit came with a lot of blood, sweat, and motherfucking tears. And no nobody gonna take that from me. I done slept in motherfucking cars. I done slept on motherfucking floors. I slept on motherfucking couches. I done slept every motherfucking where to get where I'm at. Nobody ain't never came and gave me a motherfucking silver spoon and said, here, son, here's a Fortune 500 company. Go get rich and do what you gotta do. Nobody. So with that being said, I'm addressing this. I'm leaving it where it's at. My YouTube is gonna keep continuing to go up. My subscribers gonna continue continue to go up. My business plan that I got written out this whole quarantine that I wrote on my business plan, I will be a millionaire less than two years. So I'm not worried about the bullshit I'm dealing with right now. It's a small little over there. I'm not gonna deal with it. I ain't gonna dress no more. Say what you gotta say. You can go back, blast my name in the streets. I wanted to address it. Like I said, I don't, these are not made up documents. This is a whole packet of documents that we both signed. You know what I'm saying? So this was a collaboration agreement. I stick to the black and whites. I don't get to the bullshit. I don't lie. I don't steal. And I damn straight no thief. You kept the cars, baby. I gave you back the scat pack. I gave you back the Hellcat. That ain't gonna break me. It ain't that, nothing gonna break me down. Nothing's gonna stop me from doing what I gotta do. I don't care about any of that shit. Materialistic things do not determine who you are. But one thing I will say, and I'm gonna end the video on this because I don't wanna talk and rant all day. When you in life and you handling your business and you get money, you gonna attract some demonic people and spirits and energies and entities. I know who I am as a person. I didn't, I didn't have to go on this vlog and do this. I talk with people on my side, they said address it, leave it alone. I'm addressing this shit because I know who I am. I'm addressing it because there's some people out there right now who are trying to live their life and do what they gotta do and you always get these scallywag ass people who come around and try to come over and hop on your wave. Nobody never put me on how to cut motherfucking hair. Nobody never put me on how to open own a business. Nobody never put me on how to open a barbershop and establish shit like this. Open recording studios, build Airbnbs. I'm a general contractor. I'm a... Oh, sorry, Siri, sorry, sorry. I, I'm a general contractor. I'm a, I'm a hard worker. I do what I gotta do. Did no, did nobody, 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 nobody in their, in this, in this lifetime has taught me how to, you know, do what I had to do. I've learned through my failures to how to get to where I needed to go, and I'm gonna continue to keep going where I needed to go. So, with that being said, stop inviting people to your level of life. If they not, if they don't got more than you, and you ain't the, and you ain't in the room for people that got more than you, you're in the wrong room. You know what I'm saying? I've helped so many people in my life, and I don't want to go into detail about it, but I've always caught myself catching the bad end of the stick. With that being said, I'm gonna end this vlog. It's your boy Tasman Holloway. Please go down below, comment below, subscribe, like the videos, go watch more videos. YouTube gonna be going up. I got some big stuff on the way. Yes, we about to turn the channel. We about to turn 
this shit to fuego. You know what I'm saying? We've been playing with him. We about to turn this motherfucking shit to fuego on the, on the on the channel. We finna be doing shopping sprees. Fat whips coming to the channel. Shopping sprees. Fat more whips coming to the channel. Man, I don't gotta say no. Okay, boom. So we're back to the video. The, the camera had died. I had to charge the battery and come back to you guys. But yeah, like I was saying, man, just with however you move in your business stuff. Be careful who you're inviting to your level of success. Be careful who you are bringing around you when you're making your moves. Be care careful who you're sharing your information with. Um, I've learned a lot, man, and, and, and people will try to betray you and use information that they know about you and things know about you to try to hurt you, try to dismember your like brand and stuff like that. And I'm just, I'm not in, I'm not in the business of having company around no more. At this point in my life, um, I'm not, I'm not in business of having company. You know, we will be moving a lot more stronger, different, more um, efficient, and not only just with this, but just with my business uh, life. My regimen of business has changed a lot. I have a solid team around me, solid people that are working with me with my YouTube, with my um, my business endeavors, and just everything in general, man. I just changed my whole way how I'm moving in my format, and I'm um, I'm very happy that I'm, I'm where I'm at. And I'm happy for what's to come because there's some great things gonna come. Like I said, we finna turn the channel all the way up. We finna turn the knob. We finna turn the volume like. Uh, so, you know, um, that's what it's about, man. At the end of the day, it's your boy Tasman Holloway. I don't want to talk y'all's ear off too long, man. It's been a great, 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 great journey. And we're going to continue to work through the journey like Nipsey say, man. To TMC, the marathon motherfucking continues. We ain't going to let nobody stop us when we got going. Man, I know y'all probably like, damn, bro. You know, yeah, that's life, though, sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't, I ain't one to sit here. And like I said, I ain't want to bash somebody. I ain't coming to bash somebody. But you're not going to put dirt on my name and, put, and assassinate my character after I've done nothing but be solid and take care of what I gotta take care of. And and I, I, I ain't no thief. The only thing about me is I ain't no thief. I'm addressing the thief part because I ain't no thief. But go down below, hit the like button, subscribe to the videos. More, con more content on the way. I've been sitting back, making some big moves. We got some big, big, big stuff in the take off on the channel. I'm excited, man. Hope you guys got your little seatbelt on. Cause it's been, it's been, it's been to be a ride. We finna, we finna go. We finna take off, and we finna go. And I'm excited. And this is what I worked my ass off for my whole life is to just enjoy these moments that are on the way. And I know God's gonna be there for me. My kids are gonna be there for me. My mom. Shout out to my mom's right now. She definitely been holding me down um, through all this stuff that's going on. And shout out to my daughter and my son and my my baby Naya. And shout out to my real estate agent, my team. Everyone that's working with me right now. If you know, and I don't gotta say your names. You know who you are behind the scenes, helping me with everything. I don't gotta say your name. But we will be moving a lot different in the future with our brand, our style, and how we're handling everything, and who we're inviting to our level of success. Remember, it's called the upper level, not the middle level, not the next level, but it's called the upper level. And that's why I'm gonna continue to stay. That's what I'm gonna continue to do, go, and be, and that's who I am. So, it's your boy Tasman Holloway. I'm signing out, man. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, go down below, subscribe. If you haven't already, like this video, like it. Scroll down, like, get with me on the next one. I'll see you on a second. Peace. Like, what is the latest? Check, check out my cadence. YSL be the fragrance you can act tied, and I get why. If we make plenty moves at the sapphires, got them dripping wet, baby, like you baptized. And we don't make other moves like these rap guys, rap guys lies. I don't know, baby girl. Making moves, baby, got me tripping, baby girl. Looking at my phone, checking texts, baby girl. Looking for my next, like my next, baby girl. Uh. Can I be for real, babe? I got money and a nigga trying to spend, baby. It ain't tricking if you got it, baby. Come show me. That